In part one of our special report, Hemp in America, we examined the history of hemp farming and the effort by one local businessman to legalize it. Well, tonight we have more on why some lawmakers support the idea as one of the solutions to our ailing economy. But as KUSI's Bridget Naso tells us, there are still a lot of people who want to keep this crop from growing on U.S. soil. A local businessman and advocate for legalizing hemp farming locked himself in a steel cage this spring outside of the White House to call attention to the issue. David Bronner's company, Dr. Bronner Natural Soaps, uses hemp oil. But hemp is illegal to grow in the U.S. because it's classified as a controlled substance, and Bronner has to import it from Canada. Now he says it's time for the government to change its policy and recognize that hemp and marijuana are very different plants. It's just ridiculous that we're that this this industry, which is growing every year, is doubling. We just continue to give to the Canadians and the Chinese and the Europeans. You know, are just laughing at us. Legal expert Dan Gillian says Bronner is technically correct. Hemp is a plant. It's closely aligned and similar to marijuana, but it's a totally separate plant. And Gillian says people don't get high on hemp. Marijuana would have somewhere between five and twenty percent THC in it whereas hemp only has 1%. So it really, I mean, if you smoke this, you get a headache, you wouldn't get high. For centuries, the two plants have been grown for distinctly different purposes. Hemp is industrial, says Bronner, used for fabric like cotton, only it's cleaner to grow, and also for paper, which saves trees. Industrial hemp is op optimized for seed and fiber, whereas you know marijuana varieties are optimized for THC in the flower. And Bronner says this kind of farming is much different than growing marijuana for medicinal or recreational purposes. To grow industrial hemp, you need a lot of land in order to make it worthwhile for the farmer. Typically, marijuana is grown in smaller areas and far apart to help the flower grow. If it's grown in larger areas illegally, it's typically more easy to find by law enforcement, like this bust. Last week on 40 acres of private property near Warner Springs, it netted $40 million worth of the drug. And growing the plants together, says Bronner, would ruin the hemp and the marijuana because of cross-pollination. The leaders of several states, including North Dakota, know the difference, says Bronner, and want to make it legal to farm. However, recently Senator Ron Wyden of Oregon added an amendment to the recent farm bill that would make hemp farming legal. Not one U.S. senator signed it. Legal expert Dan Gillian says that's no surprise. The politicians, they're more, I think they're just scared really to do anything. They don't want to be the guy that, made, that uh, legalized hemp because the perception by the public is hemp is the same as marijuana. And given the dangers surrounding drug trafficking, law enforcement wants nothing to do with legalizing this plant given its close association with marijuana. And the local DEA office did not want to comment on our story. Some people would say this is not a good idea given the current drug crisis in America. What would you say to those people? In China, where they'll shoot you if, if you have marijuana, they grow you know tens of thousands of acres of industrial hemp. Bronner's hope is that now that the state of California has legalized medicinal marijuana, it will only be a matter of time before hemp farming becomes legal, possibly through a standalone bill in Congress or state by state. 13 states want to grow. They have laws on the books ready to go. We just need the federal government to get out of the way. But until that day, Bronner and other companies like his will have to import hemp products and continue to send their dollars overseas. Bridget Naso, KUSI News.